Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to Jew, to Jew Twenty Two's father here, to Jew. And uh, our next, our next match is going to be very interesting, and you'll see why. And yes, it is The Rock, Dwayne, The Rock, Johnson. And uh, of course he has a new look, as opposed to what he had, as opposed to what he looked like uh, in the last game. Yeah, he doesn't have his hair anymore, but he is still as electrifying as he has always been as The Rock. And you know, my son, my son was only 10 years old when The Rock was, uh, when he had debuted, or rather he was actually 8. But, um, anyways, The Rock is going to compete against Bruce Lee, who has the Attitude Championship, and that's, and, uh, the effect that it's had on him is that Bruce Lee is just... Is, he's just the kind of guy that will do anything to win. In fact, that's exactly what it, what he has turned into. See, normally, Bruce Lee would do everything within the rules to win, but now he'll do anything to win. That's the big difference ever since he has won the Attitude Championship. So, if The Rock can beat him then Bruce Lee will definitely go back to who he was before. And it would not have any effect at all against the, on The Rock, as The Rock is an in-game superstar, and Bruce Lee is a created superstar. So for The Rock, it's a chance to add another championship to his... Uh, among, amongst his many accolades, but for Bruce Lee, he wants to hold on to that title like it's nobody's business. So we saw Capitan Monasterio do whatever he had to do, which was to cheat to win. We'll see what Bruce Lee is going to do right here, right now. Now this match is just a normal match, of course. And of course he looks different, uh, does Bruce Lee, but aside from that, The Rock is still the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, actually in all of entertainment really, except maybe The Tooth Fairy, because that movie kind of sucked, but whatever. And now Bruce Lee has The Rock right where he wants him, or does he? Nope. Back elbows right to The Rock. And now The Rock is getting laid the smackdown on. Hurricane Rana right to The Rock. And then a kick to the gut of The Rock. Then a punch right to the head. And an atomic drop right to... Uh, Bruce Lee, then a forearm right to the back. Drop toe hold face buster. And a whip into the corner goes the rock, then a clothesline. Then an arm bar right to uh, Bruce Lee. I mean, if you can take out the arm of Bruce Lee, you pretty much take out a part of his offense. Gutbuster right to Bruce Lee. 
Uh, like I said before, if The Rock wins, uh, Bruce Lee will go back to who he was before, and the championship's effect uh, will not have any effect at all at the Ro on The Rock as he is an in-game superstar. Just wanted to let you guys know that. Ooh, and a shoulder breaker right to right to Bruce Lee. We don't see that move very often used on used by anybody, but whip into the corner. And now Rock is getting his head smashed, but the Rock is the Rock. He's not going to take uh, any crap at all. A one a one-handed spine buster to the Rock. Whipped into the corner goes The Rock. I don't know what uh, Bruce Lee was trying to do, but whatever he was doing, it only gave The Rock a little bit of time to recover. But then again, The Rock is on the defensive as he delivers that uh, Samoan drop. Picks him up. A clothesline right to Bruce Lee. Then it is then a takedown, then a forearm, wait a minute, Hurricane Rana to The Rock. If I didn't know any better, these two are evenly matched. A modified bulldog right to uh, The Rock. Then a kick to the gut. Oh, and a jawbreaker right to the rock. Then a punch right to the head of the rock. But then the rock gets kicked in the gut. Whip into the, whipped into the corner, but a dragon screw right to the rock. Russian leg sweep to Bruce Lee. I mean, these two are evenly matched, so whatever these guys do to each other is pretty much fair game, I guess. I suppose. Then another kick to the gut. And a tie up. Then a punch right to the head. And another punch to the head. And now Bruce Lee's backing away. Oh, then a reverse Hurricane Rana DDT. A reverse DDT Hurricane Rana, excuse me. I got the moves a little mixed up, that's all. Another whip into the corner. An arm smash. Then a forearm right to the back again. Wait a minute. A chin lock right to uh, Bruce Lee. And Bruce Lee gets out of it. Oh, but then a shot to the throat by Bruce Lee. But, but he gets back elbowed twice. And now Bruce Lee is trying to recover or recuperate. And try to think of another strategy to beat The Rock. Because right now, nothing he's doing has really hurt The Rock. And now The Rock is going to go right after him. But I think Bruce Lee might have suckered in The Rock for a sleeper hold. Nope, a jawbreaker to uh, Bruce Lee. There we go. Ugh. Oh, my back is killing me. But then again, it's old wrestling injuries, that's all. A, a chin lock to the rock, but another rope break. And uh, Bruce Lee went for a drop kick, but the rock outsmarted him that time. And a full Nelson to uh, Bruce Lee, but Bruce Lee fights out of it with authority.
And wait a minute. Rock bottom. Rock bottom right to uh, Bruce Lee, but Bruce Lee, Whoa, Bruce Lee got up from that. Most people would stay down after a rock bottom, but another chin lock to uh, Bruce Lee. And we have a, and it's very busy at the office, if you couldn't hear that, but anyway. An arm an arm wrench with a leg drop. Wait a minute. One, two, no, kick out by Bruce Lee. I mean it's gonna take more than uh, a move like that to beat Bruce Lee. A Mongolian chop and uh oh. I think Bruce Lee's gonna set him up for it. He's going to set up the rock for Red Eye. Red Eye right to the rock. And wait. Wait a minute. A moonsault right to the rock. And then a key lock. Which is a modified arm stretch. But I'm surprised the rock is still up. I'm starting to wonder what it takes to beat the rock. And now he's hyperextending that arm of the rock but of course the rock doesn't stay down but a float over DDT a move that he invented did the rock uh oh wait a minute ooh a modified neck breaker I think that could do it I don't know one two Three. No! I actually thought that was three. I mean, I mean folks, you got to give it up to The Rock. I mean, The Rock is a legend, and he's a legend for a good reason. I mean, he can, uh, just when you think you had him beat, he's not done. Wait a minute. One. Two. No. Kick out once again by The Rock. and a side headlock takedown and now the rock is stomping away on uh, Bruce Lee wait a minute another shoulder breaker and now another pinfall cover one two folks you're in you're you're watching one hell of a match I mean this is what you have to expect from these two, I mean, these are two legends, a legend in martial, a legend in martial arts against a legend in the ring. One, two, three, and finally the Rock goes down, and the winner and still Attitude Champion is Bruce Lee, which also means he's still a bad guy. But hey, it mean it meant this time he hit, he didn't have to cheat. He just had to uh, beat the Rock, and that's exactly what he did. But of course, outside the ring, he, outside the ring, of course, he's a bit of a jerk. But but you had to expect that from the Attitude Championship. But in any event, that's exactly what it meant to him to hold on to the title. Well, stay tuned for more. We got more coming up next. <laughs>